Here's a quick walkthrough of my 2019 KTM 85 SX that I picked up with no motor, a rolling chassis only, and did an electric conversion to it. Uh, here's what's on the bike currently. QS 13870H motor, 3000 watt rated motor. It will go much higher. I've run it up to about 12,000 watts. It doesn't even phase it. Uh, the battery pack, 24 cell lithium iron phosphate. 84 volts, it's about 25,000 milliamps. Uh, not a very big pack, but it doesn't really need to be for a bike this small. It has extreme hole shot power and several hours of runtime, so it's as big as it needs to be. Temporarily mounted on the side of the frame. Got this battery meter. It's got a lot of good information. If you know what it is, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's good to have at least this to keep an eye on the battery as you're operating and charging one of these bikes. Over here on the front of the bike, in the tank, you've actually got the charge port and the on-off switch. Turning the on-off switch energizes a Gigavac 200 volt 800 amp contactor. It turns everything on. On the front switch up here, we have an on-off switch and a handy dandy USB port to charge my cell phone or hook my GPS up to so when we're out deep in the woods we don't get lost. So if we turn the switch on, it makes the dash come alive. On the dash we have a power meter, an amp meter, a gear selector, trip odometer, regular odometer. Um, on the other side of the switch bar switch over here we've got low, medium, and high speeds low, medium, and high. I've got a light switch over here to turn my lights on for when we're riding in the dark. And this handy little button right here is actually for reverse. Yeah, reverse. Uh, it's kind of nice to get out of a sticky situation when you're stuck in the woods on a trail or something. But what's even funner is when you roll backwards through the pits going in reverse, people just freak out on that. So anyway, that's pretty much it.